Hello everybody, welcome back again. I've got something else that I have been working on that I just can't wait to show you. Um, these are belly bands. And if you don't know what a belly band is, you take your journal pages that you're working on. This is my idea book. And you just kind of make a band. It can go across like that. And you can stick things down in here. Or it can go vertical. And you can, you know, you would just glue both ends either way. And you can stick things under here. So I just made a slew of assorted sizes and colors and whatever belly bands. On the back, I've just used a piece, a piece of cardstock that had something on it that I didn't I knew I wouldn't use. And so I've got a strip of lace on the bottom, wide, light blue. I've got another strip of lace here that's about an inch and a half. And then I've got a couple of squares of muslin that I stamped with my rubber stamp. I added a button, some frou-frou and a button. I put a little jute tie there. Over here, this is just a piece of... Um, a snippet um, strip that I received recently in a swap and it's the first time I've actually cut one apart and used it and I'm thrilled to be using it but it's so hard to cut them because they're so pretty but anyway I did decide to cut it apart added a little lace there and a little butterfly um, this one is that's sn uh, another snippet strip that's hard to say, snippet strip. This can be any width. You can make it half an inch, one inch, two, three. It doesn't matter um, how wide it is. And this, this, these ruffled fabric pieces here are the snippet strip that I received um, in a swap. Now, when I actually apply that down on a page, I'm going to glue both ends. I'm going to add something like some buttons or I don't know what. Who knows? It's according to what I'm doing on that page. Now, this little strip was short. It wasn't but that long as far as the cardstock that I used. But I just added some lace pieces. And see, these pieces already had made, already had them together. Same thing here. I already had this put together, so all I had to do was glue it to. And the reason I put cardstock on the back is because you're going to glue this down, and you need to be able to slide something behind it. So that cardstock would slide nicer than if I just left fabric on the back. It might get stuck. Here's another one that I did. You can see my cardstock on the, the back. There's a vintage stamp, something else, I, some fabric pieces I've stamped some music pages, some tatting that I did, some lace, and some frou-frou. So this one, now this little ruffle right here is about an inch wide, and I stitched that on my sewing machine and gathered it. So it's paper, but I just gathered it. Added a saying with some frou-frou behind it and a little button. Look how pretty this is. Now this is nothing but uh, this the purple was a torn piece of paper that I stitched around, but I put the cardstock on the back. You can still now this one it could be a corner pocket. You could glue this side and this side. It could be a corner. You know, tuck something under there if you wanted to, or you can glue both sides and make it another belly band. Here's another one done with the turquoises. Just stitched everything together. Um. This is a piece of the snippet strip that I received, and a little piece of lace I had left over, and some frou-frou, a little bit of gauze, and that is um, the fabric itself. That's a, a little embroidery piece that's on the fabric. Um, this one I added a dangle. You know me, I love my beaded stuff had to add a dangle. So it's got this beautiful button and one of my word clusters, which is a... A, um, a little sticker that said days and months. I put the sticker on brown cardstock and outlined it. I put that on um, a book page. I put gauze under that and coffee dyed paper under that. And then it has the um, lace, that brown looking lace under it. So there's a lot of layers. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of layers going on in there. Okay, this one is done with a purple velvet strip. I don't know if you can see that velvet behind there, which was like a ribbon. And I did some stitching on it. 
added this little piece of uh, square of fabric with a button. This is some um, crochet, uh, like you'd make a scarf out of, some yarn stuff, crochet. This is one of my little word clusters that I did. Um, this word is a sticker that I stuck down on vellum paper, then I stitched around the vellum onto a piece of burlap. And then it's just got a piece of um, paper behind that. And, oh, this one somebody gave me in a swap recently. Is that cool? It's like a bunch of little tickets, and they're all folded. I put that in with my belly bands because I want to use that. And then this is, again, that snippet strip that was given to me in a swap. You can see my cardboard on the back, cardstock. And then I had this um, trim that has the eyelash on one side it's kind of like it's a fringe is what it is it's got the eyelash yarn on one side only there you can see it and I just stitched it down and I thought oh I'll let that hang down like this on my journal page then you can stick something behind it so anyway that's my belly band collection so far there's no right or wrong go out and give it a try use up your scraps use whatever you've got have fun with it and thanks for watching bye bye